Aboriginal Lunchbox Connection is a coordinated community approach that aims to increase access to healthy food and drink and support services for Aboriginal families attending the primary schools at North Lakes and Blue Haven. These are areas that over the last couple of years have experienced bushfire, floods and the effects of the COVID-19 pandemic. We work with the local schools and the community organisations, um, namely San Remo Neighbourhood Centre, and they reported an increase in food insecurity in the area. And we were able to develop this collaborative approach with our community partners to help address it for the community. This approach recognises that to improve access to healthy food and drink, the underlying causes of food insecurity need to be addressed. And this is where the role of referral to support services was so valuable. My role was to implement the Aboriginal Lunchbox Connection pilot project with support from the Health Promotion Service and the Working Group. The Working Group helped guide school and community-based solutions that complemented food relief and support services already existing within the local communities. My role and the Working Group were crucial to developing and maintaining the cultural integrity of the project throughout and delivering the project in a socially acceptable way. Food security, where well, we, we talk about families being stressed, being able to provide um, food, let alone nutritious food. Um, it's, it's availability, um, it's ability to store, cook and prepare for, for families. So it's stretching the, the budget. We know that issues that are facing families, particularly through a pandemic, were complex and varied. And to be able to provide something that eased you know, a known burden is a small thing, but I guess the network created by the, the Neighbourhood Centre and the wraparound services they provide gave a multifaceted approach to being able to address some of the more complex issues. Well, the aim of the project was to identify any health issues that young kids have uh, and, and look at how we can rectify those issues before they start school or when they're in the early years of school. This is about giving them a good opportunity to, to start uh, school on the front foot, not the back foot. Some of the results that have come uh, out of the, the charge on the screening day was through our, our health services that we had involved. Um, health Emotion were there as well, uh, my Yang was there. And, uh, one of the really good results was through our, our paediatrics team where we had 17 families referred to, uh, to the service, 15 of those families attended appointments of those 17. So um, that's a really high outcome for us as an average population. The other services, uh, audiology, physio, etc., they ha also had referrals. So for us, there's that opportunity to get referrals into these services and get these young ones seen and looked at and, and sorted out before they, they get really get into their school years. When we look at closing the gap, this, this is a really good opportunity for us to, to start at the, at the bottom end and actually work through to give these young kids an opportunity. If uh, we didn't have the agreement of Ally Health, we wouldn't have had the opportunity to move forward with this program. From a partnership perspective, it's been really good, but also from a relationship building perspective, it's been really good. Um, on the day we had six schools attend. The kids came through and registered with us, and then they went through the health check hall, and they received all their health checks. People in the community and the people that attended were really appreciative of the service that we provided to them. They were able to get some referrals done and then have their children followed up. I think with um, being screened by Aboriginal services, having them culturally supported and feeling culturally safe helps them being able to really discuss what the concerns are with the children. I'm very proud that we were able to offer this. This was our first year of doing it, so I'm hoping within the next 10 years, you know, it will be everywhere on the Central Coast and all our little jar jums will be able to get their help. The project was to design, collaborate and communicate art within the new building to provide a welcoming, peaceful and safe space. We've had very good links with the Aboriginal Health Unit and Steve Allen and his team from very early on in our project in collaboration um, with all sorts of design and the art strategy was just another component of our collaboration with his team. It's very important that we have local Darkenjung country artwork within our hospital. It was very important that we collaborated with our Duck and Jung Land Council, with our Aboriginal Advisory Council and with the Aboriginal Health Unit to provide these linkages and this collaboration so the artwork was pertinent and meaning to the people that we're trying to provide health to. It shows respect for our Duck and Jung people 
and it shows respect for all of Aboriginal people. And I think in terms of, we talk a lot about closing the gap for health, and this is a very tangible way that we can provide welcoming access for all people. Uh, having artwork throughout the hospital is really important for the Aboriginal community because we need to see a hospital that is Aboriginal friendly, that is culturally sensitive, that is very welcoming for Aboriginal people. There's a lot of historical issues that have happened for Aboriginal people in the hospital system and this is about breaking down some of those barriers and ensuring that Aboriginal people when they come to hospital feel like a welcoming environment that they're walking into. Having local artists is really important because it's making sure that local people are involved in the process. The more barriers we can break down, the more opportunity for Aboriginal people to stay in hospital and get, and get well. The artwork's fabulous. Uh, the comments we get from people in regards to what the artwork has done for the, for the hospital is, is, is remarkable. The signage component is, is, is very welcoming and, and people feel as though it's a place they want to come to if, if they need to. It's really important for us to have that feedback from the community and the feedback's been very positive. Thank you.